cards. Waffle Dabble just owns Time Spiral Block cards, actually. <laughs> Time Spiral Block teaching. Oh, I got a rabbit. He's also playing Foil Bane Slayers. You can do that when you're French. This better be a hierarchy. I heard that. Not a tap, not a tap land, that's all I ask. That's the worst. No. He stoned nothing turn one, he kept a seven card hand with no one drop. He kept, he kept a no creature hand last time we featured him. What is going on? He's got negate, uh, was that Path to Exile still in there? Is that Path or Ranger? Golden uh, Carnage, Negate. Is that a Vito Gazi? There's no way it's a Vito Turn two nothing? What the hell is going on? It looks like a Brian Stouter. Why would you keep a seven card hand with no one or two drops? It's a lightning helix. Lightning Helix? Yeah. Okay. I swear to God, it looked like Vidugazi. I was going to have to kick Tom's. What were we kicking? Something. I thought he had a Vidugazi in his zoo list. I, had to, I was going to punch him. That's only something a bad player like me would do. <coughs> punch Tom Ross? No, no. Is it Gazi a six? Oh, it, it's, it's, it's a meddling mage. It's not either of the cards we named. Because I... While he was looking through his deck, I saw the side of Metal oh, okay. the side that he was showing. So. Yeah, 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 right. It, looks, it looks just... It does look like Vidugazi. Yeah, he's also got another uh, Nether Relic Quarry and Arid Mesa and Forest. Ranger of Eos. Game three? Yep. Yeah. Uh, has got a uh, Cryptic Command. Uh, Engineer Explosives, Mystical Teachings, and a bunch of other foil cards. Two mystical teachings, a death mark. Some guy at the card shop I work at brought up the idea that Tom Ross might cheat, and I was like, how can Tom Ross cheat when every match he plays is a feature match on GG's Live? He's had 500 <laughs> feature matches over the last two months. He can't physically cheat. <laughs> Who would actually claim that Tom cheats? He's yeah, like he the nicest guy ever. No, Wafo yeah. didn't, didn't mana leak that night of the quarry, so I think, I think yeah, you should yeah. be playing... He's got death mark in his hand. So I don't think uh, I think you should play Ranger Vios now and just uh, I think he's, is that he's, yeah. I thought he had Ranger Vios in his hand. Uh, he, does. he does. He does. Yeah. He didn't mana leak it, so. Does, yeah. Does Waft have a Black Source in his hand somewhere? No. Maybe I can't tell. All his cards he's are full. He's got Deathmarket. Oh yeah. Oh, every card looks the same. Attack you. Attacks with his six six. Finally, what's Whoa. her record? Seven and one. What are you battling with? We'll we're calling it. We're calling it the bandwagon. Oh, I heard about the bandwagon. That's the name of the deck. <laughs> oh boy. I heard there's like a J, a sixty dollar dollar card in there. There's that's, three of them. That's not Tarmogoyf. I have four Tarmogoyfs as well. There, okay. I wanted to fit Bane Slayer in just to, just to show people up, but <laughs> be like, look at how much money I have, guys. What did uh? We missed it. We were talking about my stupid deck and the <laughs> results. Well, that's what I was saying. He didn't manipulate those knights, so you. But I mean, if he had Death Mark, he might not. You know, if he had black, but he doesn't have black. So. He doesn't have black, yeah. He's got Cryptic Command now. Not quite as good when you got a giant dude to play already. He's going to do it during his upkeep. He wants to tap him down from Negate. I don't understand why you would at least see try to bait him to play a spell first. Okay, the quick concedes. Sure. All right, well, that was... I think I ruined that one when I came over here. I feel bad. Like, what just happened? <laughs> I don't know. He, he played, he he played die in like Cryptic Command. No, no, he was at 12. He played Cryptic Command. It got negated. He was going to take 9. Yeah, he's going to have to 3. Huh? I mean, Waffle did... Uh, we we bluffing his spell there, turn 1. Uh, there we go. All right, I'll put a 2 next to Tom Ross's name, so I'll put Mac G. Know what happened? Yeah. Yeah, I had meddling. Tom Ross got there. Good job, Negate. Good job, Tom Ross. He didn't. Negate didn't do anything. I mean, he would have won, won no matter what he did. Yeah. Apparently, all Waffle Tom I had was lands and cryptic commands and mystical teachings. I guess. That's, that happens sometimes when you play the teaching deck. Why did Why did Tom bring in Ghost Quarter? It's better than better than lightning bolt, but it hits <laughs> Celestial Colonite at least. Okay. Wait, well, Waftop is running Celestial Colonite? Uh, I think he's only running one though. Might be my extended hero as well. 
And it's better. It's better than um, like a fetch lane to get with your another mellow player because it pumps your mellow player one more. It thins your deck by one more too. Sure. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about your deck, Conley. Uh, or is it it's too secret? Should we, should we I not? did a well, deck tag already for Channel Firewall, so I hope it's not too secret. It's probably up okay. on the website. Okay, fair enough. And not to like. So you mean somebody named Magic in. X Misland is, is I don't chatting? Know, how, how fast is Channel Firewall and getting their text up? I don't know. You guys could have a little battle. Well, I got side with the, I got to side with the company that pays me though. Oh uh, well. Oh, you mean TCG players? I mean. Hey, <laughs> hey, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna put the deck up there and let people watch it. I, I'm not I'm not here trying to compete with other people putting decks up other places. And no, that's fair. No, it's a, it. it's a pretty good deck. Like I was working on infinite black white creations and could not get them to beat Zoo no matter what I did. Uh, people in my room insisted that they could and they put like 12 to 15 card cyborgs against Zoo and I'm like, you guys are idiots and they still insisted on playing it. I'm like, just play my new deck. None of them would. So one of them's playing it and he's X2 right now. I'm X1. Uh, but yeah, does, does Ray have your deck already? No, I have it over here. Oh. He said he had to wait for them to finish. Oh, they're done. Yeah, so are you going to put the deck over there? Do you want me to go there? Or you? No, you, you, you stay here. Stay there. Are you going to leave? Yeah, sure. Okay. All right. Well, we get to do another... This is a ploy to steal my Jesus. Okay. Uh, you like doing the last one, right? Was that awesome? Yeah, it was fun. You always look like you have so much fun, Michael. Oh, man. You have no idea. Oh, I have a little bit of an idea. I'm Connie now? What is that? Come on. You can at least get my yeah, name that's right. That's just lazy fingers. Lazy fingers. People don't want to type. All right. So we're here with Conley Woods. Is it Woods or Woods? Woods. Yeah. Woods. Yeah, like okay. Tiger. Yeah. I'll be right I back. I got to hang up a long <laughs> I'm glad you reserved. So let's first tell us about this deck because I have no clue what's going on. I just hear there's this bank stuff going on. And yeah, it's bank colors. It's not like really traditional bank though. It's more controlling, more fishy. Uh, I have even mind sensors in the main. No rocks, war monks. I, I still have noble hierarchs because it kind of gets you to three, which is big. Uh, Vendillion click, Tarmogoy if it's like my creature base. Uh, I got one Stoneforge Mystic, which a lot of people are questioning, but like I have one Jit in the main deck, one Stoneforge Mystic. Um, but with Jace, I have three Jace in my deck, so having the ability to uh, to just shuffle if once you draw like your second Jit effectively, if you top deck late, it's kind of cool. I have, a, I have a second Jit on my board if I need to bring it in. A uh, couple Cryptic Commands, four Bant Charm, four Path, four Mana Leak, uh, two Engineer Explosives in the main, two Treetop Village, some lands. It's pretty good. We're actually, like, gonna, we're actually gonna have you read off that whole deck list again once we actually show it off. I, I guess I could have like stopped you. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That. I, got, I just I just like hear. I got you nothing but hot air. So name, name cards and uh, with numbers after. Them. So how how did you come up with the deck? What, um, what, what's the inspiration? Like I said, we're just working on. I was working on a ton of black white lists um, with like a bunch of like hate cards like Tide Owl Skuller, Even Mind Sensor, uh, Samurai Pell Curtain, Bob, of course. Um, and I could get them, they were all doing really good against Dark Depths, but I could never get the Zoo matchup good enough, or, like, random other matchups. Escape Shift and Dark Depths were both good, but that was about it. Uh, so I just, uh, kept building, kept throwing out ideas, tried, like, Abyssal Persecutor, tried Stone Cloakers. I even had one of the deck lists in the magazine, uh, on Channel Fireball. Um, if anyone's interested, I had Nighthawks at one point, uh, Gatekeeper Malakir, a bunch of stuff like that. And, um... Just kept losing a zoo, so I tried. I switched to like a Doran build with Dorans and Tarmogoyfs, and that still didn't help. So I was like, I just got cut black. Black's just poop. So uh, ended up moving it to blue. I wanted to try new Jace, so he went in here immediately, and it's basically what happened. Not too exciting of a story. It's not like the most roguey. There's no, uh, there's no Dovescape or. Uh, I was hoping it came to in a dream, but I guess that's not. Yeah, that's what I meant. It came to me in a dream. Oh, <laughs> I love this deck already. All my decks come to me in dreams, actually. You need to have more dreams. And it's always a celebrity, like, playing them, and I'm like, walking to them. And so who played this one, was it? Like, uh, Gregory House from the TV show. He's a doctor. Oh, yeah. He's fucking awesome. All right, so I think we sort of have the deck. Oh, the thumbs up. That had to be something big. We got the thumbs up, but... You like right. those You like those wonderful white-bordered Tomas scripts? Actually, if, if, if possible, I would play with the all-white-bordered deck. Yeah. With white sleeves. I would think that... I mean, that's... I've actually done that once... Those were uh, those were those were last minute. Those became Tormod scripts last minute. There was like one 
but then uh, I didn't want to lose the random droid sticks. Okay. So, so we're calling this the Bant Wagon. Yeah, the Bant Wagon. Everyone jump on the Bant Wagon. Whoa, I, I don't know if I'm going to... You're going to have to sell me or to jump on this wagon. So let's go from left to right, top to bottom. Tell us what... Left what to right, top to deck. bottom. So we have uh, we have the big boy, Jace. How many? We have announcements. Three of them. Three Jace. Uh, I have killed one person with Jace's ultimate today. 